Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds DLC where once again it has been a while since I've played so I double checked the stuff that I have to do and so we have to prove ourselves to the Warrick, right? So we need to, which you guys already know but I'm just going over it for myself, we need to clear out the bandit camp, complete a trial, and gather pigments. Although I think it's, I think it's only like three of the four maybe. We already repaired the tall neck. So I've been looking. Oh, did we? Did I? I think I have everything in this room. I don't need to talk to her right now. Yeah, we're good to go. Do I? Do I have to? Okay. I was like, do I have to run out? Anyway, I would love to do Storm Slayer. Oh, that's right. Okay, I was like, I swear I got a new one, but I was looking at the weapons and I didn't, I didn't have any new ones. Um, but trader box. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's the one. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. It like flings like an atlatl type thing. Let's um, let's modify it. Why not? It's already got electrical. Sure. Excellent. Yay, I did the tutorial. Woo, shut up. I never did the tutorials in when I originally played. Like I didn't so like I kind of thought I was doing them, but it turns out you need to have the tutorial selected. In order for yeah, the soon enough. actual, like, for it to actually complete, because I'm like, okay, I see what the tutorial was, like, kill three, I don't know, I can't even remember, like, striders with electricity or something, it wasn't strider, but you know. And then I would go do that <laughs> and think, I did the tutorial. I did not. That's not how it worked. Oh, shoot. But these ones seem normal. That's okay, we can get past them. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be fine. Anyway, I may or may not not have a neighbor today, which is nice. But I'm, I'm still gonna be nervous and quiet. Which is honestly kind of stressful <laughs> and weird. Like, I feel like it takes more energy to like maintain a quieter demeanor than it does to be my normal self. <laughs> so, yes, I apologize. I also did order some, some soundproofing, not the chickens. I ordered some soundproofing, actually, that I can put over the door. Because for the most part, I think the only problems I have is like hearing sounds through the door. Hmm. A place? I didn't even see that. I am curious what this place is. Nope, not that one. Where is it? This place is. Um, I assume I'll get to it in the story, but we'll see. But yeah, no, I'm gonna get some soundproofing. I know I don't know how much longer I'll be in this hotel room. But I figured could If Ikri's not coming back, couldn't hurt. she'll be back. She never falters. But if she has, then I'm Just the one who can the way for now. And I'm the one who can climb ice the fastest. You have passed one test. The next test is of silence. Oh, this is like a, its own little group? Separate? What are your hunters doing so far out here? We are of the White Teeth. Come down from the jawbone of Benur to test those who would run with us. A test? In those hunting grounds? No. It is an ordeal. Survive upon the glacier in the knife trail, as our ancestors did. It's been a harsh season. Two have yet to return. We shall wait. Then we shall bless their attempt. Then we shall leave. What does this ordeal involve? To scale the glacier's face and endure four days and four nights. Sustained only from the frozen ground of the machines. 
Our shaman has blessed the ordeal and permitted their harvest. Metal to fashion weapons. The rest is forbidden. Hmm? What about the two who haven't returned? It was their ordeal to face alone. Their life or death. Those who return know the white teeth run alongside them. Those who do not know the white teeth mark their attempt. How generous. You're from Banur. Do you know about Aratok and Araya? Strong names, indeed. They have many songs. But there is a reason they roam out here, in the cut and not among the great war acts. This obsession with Thunderstrom will be their undoing. So who are the White Teeth? Warriors. The first and the best. All young hunters hungry for the fight seek to run with us. Now the machines are angered. There was always fighting. <laughs> You're like, well mm, served, yes. day eh, shaman? Every day lightning cracks in the smoke of battle. Every night a new name to honor in song. That, that doesn't sound super. It's like every day somebody dies. I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> I mean, I get it, right? These are. This is a very harsh environment, and it breeds harsh people with harsh customs. You know, so like, you know, poo pooing on them is not necessarily like the way to go. Even though, from like, you know, Aloy's perspective, it's like you're just leaving those people to die. But like, would they want help? I mean, sure, some of them would. But like, would like, would you dragging them back maybe unwillingly? Like, oh, I saved them, mean that they are no longer allowed a place in like Banuk culture, and they're just outcasts now. You know, like, maybe they would rather die knowing that like they, their songs are honored. You know, rather than you know, living a potential half-life, air quotes, uh, as an outcast or something. I'm just assuming there would be some sort of outcast thing, maybe. Aren't you even going to look for your missing hunters? Yeah, she, In time. she's upset. As months pass, the meltwater often carries the bodies out. <sighs> Unbelievable. If there's a chance they're alive, then I'll look for them. Even if they did still live, they will not accept your aid out See? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. To us, survival is sacred. Nothing else can be relied upon. We'll see. Well, those two seem to be in tandem. The shaman and the war the chieftain here. Where it seems to be... Sacred. So they leave people to die? Um, the other shaman chief pairs we've met, at least the one, hasn't seemed to be in super... Well, actually, no, in the main game, too. There's, like, the shaman and the warrior. Um, I don't think there's necessarily a chieftain there, but there's a shaman and a warrior that kind of don't see on the same page. Anyway... Um, I know Ayla is upset about it, and it is upsetting, but it's also, like, you know, if you live in a harsh environment, you can't necessarily, like, afford to be, like, accommodating of everything. Like, everybody needs to do their job. Like, everybody needs to pull their weight, right? And if somebody, somebody is not, and they're causing the others to work more or something, you know, or, like, they're kind of just pulling people down without contributing, like, enough. Uh, I, I could see, like, oh, you know. Like, it, it is understandable. I can't even, spare the way. <laughs> even if I don't necessarily agree with it, I can understand where the thought comes from. I need more inventory desperately. No, I love echo shells. I don't want to get ev blaze. I use blaze. I don't know about metal vessels. <sighs> I mean, I haven't been needing a ton. Let's just drop these. No, no, freak. I hate, I hate it when I do that. Anyway, there. Th this is also that idea is also like. Um, you know, what is it, like, juxtaposed with, um, the idea that every life is sacred, you know, like, all people have a purpose, even if, you know, like, it's not what they're, like, I am trying to think and do some, I'm trying to talk and do things at the same time, um, like, and you don't necessarily, like, need to have, like, uh, a purpose, you know, I don't know, like, it's like, um, like, you don't need to have value, essentially, in, like, the sort of like I guess what is it like capitalist sense of the word where like your time is value and worth and like we use words like value and worth that have monetary associations to talk about people and their lives you know and that's not there's like other ways you can refer to it but at least in 
the culture I've grown up with, like, it is very common to refer to people and their time as, like, even when you're trying to compliment, and, like, you know, be, like, we're just, we're just so inside the system, you know, where it's like, you shouldn't have to worry about, you know, I don't know, somebody else's, like, you know, designation of your value or whatever, like, we still use those terms. Because oftentimes it's difficult to come up with different ones. I say that, but I, I think I have heard different ones, but it's been a long time, like a different way of like phrasing it, because like obviously language can like shape the way you think about things. So changing certain aspects of language, like expected phrases and stuff, can like help shift like thinking, like thinking patterns. I would really love these. I like my 11. Oh, I'm very I'm close. I, re I really want this one. Just for, her, just because. This one's really cool too. This I don't know where to get slag shine. Oh, pro you know I'll probably get it at the bandit camp. Here is. Oh, there you are. My bed. Keeper, Araya said that I should compete in the trials here. Araya did. She's never sent someone before. Oh, she's blind in one eye. And what is your reason for training? I would ask this of any Banuk who attempted the trials. I'm going to challenge Aratok to become <laughs> chieftain of his work. <laughs> well, you better get started then. When she says it out loud, it's it's kind of funny. Like, it, well, it's not funny. It's it's big. <laughs> it's like whoa, you know, like uh, not uh, outlandish. I guess is the word I'm trying to think of. You look like you've got some stories to tell. Oh, I outlived most of my stories. I ran with the Thunder's daughters long ago before they ran their course. For a time, we shook the snow off the men of Benor. I couldn't last. Some fell in glorious battle. Some were exiled in infamy. Still glorious, if you ask me. Others had a worse fate. What's worse? To grow old. And find that all the rules and traditions you fought so hard against are still there. Mm-hmm. That's why I tell all the hunters I train to stay young. God, that would be... Uh, it was like it's Thunder's Daughters. It's like, obviously, like, a women's group, right? And, like, oh, uh, to just shake the men. And then, like, you know, try to, try to change something. And then to, like, outlive the legends essentially and realize that they become just legends just stories and like nobody tries to actually think about it in a concrete fashion must be sort of terrible <laughs> how do the trials work around here there's no karja medals i had some but i used them to patch up holes in my i was gonna say this seems odd instead you'll compete against the best times set by other banuk hunters to take second place even third place puts you among names of legend what if i come in first We'll see. I was going to say, this seems odd, because for one thing, it's a woman doing the trial. And as right now, especially the Hunter's Lodge is still very sexist. Um, the rule has technically changed, but even at this point, even though we haven't gone to Meridian yet, but um, we still got that dickwad in charge, and he's still a dick. <laughs> so it, it's interesting that it's a woman running it here, but apparently she's kind of modified it for her own purposes. I'm guessing you're not part of the Hunter's Lodge. Every tribe claims they were the first to have hunting grounds. And every tribe claims the Karja stole it from them. So who was the first? We were. And the Karja stole it from you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> if you need to know about the trials, I'll explain them to you. Oh gee, that's so, that's so nice of you. The control trial tests a hunter's ability to rein in the storm oh, slinger's power. No. Only the wisest understand these shamanic weapons, and only the bravest wield them. Well. <laughs> the onslaught trial challenges a hunter to withstand the ebb and flow of combat. Machines will be released into the arenas oh, in waves. No. Pace yourself. <laughs> Strategize. Only then will you be able to defeat them all without being overwhelmed. <coughs> As many of you may or may not know, um, if you're watching this, I don't like the Hunter's Trials. I find them tedious. 
and the only reason I completed them recently on a stream actually was because I wanted the achievement so I could platinum the game, which I did do, Rec like uh, fairly recently, right before Horizon Forbidden West came out, I managed to finish my new game plus and platinum the original game. This trial is the most dangerous ordeal in the snow chance. While not all chieftains pass it, only a chieftain may attempt it. Oh. So I can't do it. Okay. The control trial tests a hunter's ability to rein mm -hmm. in only the wisest under- It begins after you descend that rope to the arena. We'll need a moment to pull the machines from the pass into the arenas. Then make your descent. I don't even know how to use this weapon. I should have done the other one. Um, well, I didn't mean, never figure it out. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, playing on easy mode rocks. Well, this is, I mean, I realize I'm on easy, so it you know, makes it pretty easy, <laughs> but still, it's a very powerful weapon, which makes sense, it's a DLC weapon. <sighs> Chill almost feels like summer. Yeah, 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 I don't want to worry about it. Honestly, I would probably be more meticulous with this if I was actually playing it through, and I am, but I'm mostly playing for the story, so I'm not too terribly concerned about resources and stuff. Conquered it on your first run and didn't even make it look difficult. I swear it on the ice. You're as good as any Banuke champion. Oof. I did it. Okay, bye. No more trials. Not yet. I always come back. I beat a champion's time. That should get the wear out talking. Okay, I perfect. Tried to tell that my name's all over Song's Edge. Might be time to challenge our talk. You say that, but oh my gosh, finally. Um. Yes. Actually, I don't, yeah, okay, 50 out of 60, perfect. I think it would be better to do that later in the game because then, like, the 20% increase, I think it would be bigger, essentially. More slots. Um. But. Yeah. It's fine. I just need it now. But I want, I don't want to, I want to pick up pigments. I guess I can still do that. And the other one, what, what even was the other one? Dang, I didn't know I needed only, well, I wasn't paying attention. That I only needed two. It's not even going to tell me. The pigment and, shoot, well, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Let's just, let's just. Just fly back, essentially. Let's go here and pick up that pigment. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing this today for a couple hours. Unless I feel like I'm getting really close to the end. I've been kinda trying to play for like two hours before I play Horizon Forbidden West. But I think I am getting to the point where there are going to be spoilers. I think I may have encountered a small one, but that's only because I have kind of guessed from this interaction with... Oh shoot, what's the name of the AI that we... The spirit. The spirit AI. Um, and I was guessing from like what little clues we had picked up in some of the audio files and the text files, plus the way this AI was acting, that 
it's potentially from the Gaia subfunctions, right? Like Demeter and all those, you know. And then in the main game, it does reference something like that. I think one of the character pro in Gaia's character profile, it says something about like how the sub functions. Because we're new from the main game, right? Like if you play far enough along in the main game, you know that like you, the way you see it, like Gaia explains like my sub functions have been released essentially, and I can't like I don't have any control over them anymore, um, including you know not, not just Hades but the rest of them. Uh, because she also self-destructs, right? Um, but... Yeah. So, what, what is, oh, I was like, what is that noise? It's, I think it's the tall neck. Yeah. So, the... The sub-functions have scattered, essentially. And I think that's what we're dealing with here. And then, and that's what I guessed, right? And then... Oops, I didn't mean... <laughs> <laughs> it didn't necessarily like, want to do that one. Um, but that's what I guessed, right? That the sub-functions had gone out and become either their own little AIs or, or like, kind of... It's odd to see new machines in the cut. Maybe not, like, we mustn't new... Let them frighten us. We're by Nook. That's where I thought it was going to be. That they've either maybe been like kind of forgotten some of their original function, or that they are, or that they know who they are. They just can't really do much. They're just kind of stuck where they are, trying to hide and stay safe. She said the hot springs would be where you'd find stuff. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. More than a nuisance the bandits. That was the other thing. I may actually still do that. Because that's, 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 that is its own thing. And liberate. Sure. You know, it can't hurt. It can't hurt my cause. Where? Okay, no. Wait. You want me to go outside the cut? Is this... Oh, that's the wrong bandit camp, right? No, that is the... That's the deals. Maybe it's not in here right now? I'm gonna... I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go. Jeez, maybe not. It's so far away from anything. Yeah, no, never mind, sorry. Just, just gonna, just gonna go back. Okay, now the... <laughs> Hopefully I can get to it at some point, but not right now. For now, we must further the main quest. I need to know if I'm right, and I just really, really want to play Horizon Forbidden West. <laughs> but I don't want to get too spoiled for things. Where is he? This is going to be so weird. This is so on, weird. On top of all we've endured, we find ourselves beset by bandits. Listen, I, I hear you. I know. Who has the exclamation point? I'm distracted. Business arrangement. Oh, what can I do for you, Burgrind? Mourn my poor departed luck. I finally met some Banuk keen to trade with Outlanders. Then they up and vanished. Three Banuk hunters rolled in a few days ago. No provisions, junk equipment, no idea how to strip a machine for parts. That surprises Asked me. Asked me to outfit them for a long trip. Be a lord, <laughs> sentimental. So I did it on credit. And they haven't paid. Well, they tried. Just look what they did to this Thunderjaw heart. But that was ages ago, and I'm starting to worry about them. 
Tell me, Burgrind, are you worried about their well-being or your purse strings? A man can worry about two things. Uh-huh. What kind of deal was this really? Just what I said. I was nothing but generous, Aloy. After they dropped this ruined heart at my feet, I even gave them another chance. Sent them to fetch a few other parts I need. But you haven't seen them since. <laughs> Hide nor hair. What do you mean they couldn't harvest parts? Not uncommon with the new. Oh, the shamans, okay, see. I see. The hunters take down the machines. The shamans slice them up. No shaman with these three. Just two youngsters sniping at each other. And that big fella. Standing there smiling. So if the Banuk don't usually hunt without a shaman, what's the story with these three? Mm, they weren't telling. But Hammer to Steel is not a happy story, whatever it is. Maybe kind of outcasts. And they may have tricked him. And also, if, if they need it, because the shaman that we just talked to said that they had blessed the harvest, but for weapons only. So that seems like a very Banuk thing that you need to have a shaman to like bless whatever machine hunt you're doing for any sort of harvesting purposes. So if these guys don't have that, they may be in trouble. You said they asked you to outfit them for a trip. A trip to where? Not sure. But I heard them chattering about the Sundom when they thought I wasn't listening. So they're leaving Banuk territory. Sensible behavior. Still, I get the sense this wasn't a sightseeing trip. They're running from something. Well, then they weren't going to come back. If, if you heard them talk about the Sundom, why would you outfit them on credit if you knew they weren't going to come back, you know? I'm not a debt collector, Burgrind. If I look for them, it'll be to make sure they're all right. Of course, of course. Fires of the Forge, forgive me. I actually like these idiots. The molten steel of youth and all that. <laughs> but uh, if you do manage to find them, you could remind them of the deal we made. <laughs> a scorcher claw, a loop of sinew from a stalker, and a snap morphine. If they bring me those parts, their debt's paid. And then some. Just make sure they don't bust them up too bad. It's gonna be uh, my... Considerate. Last I saw them, they were heading northeast. Good machine hunting up that way. If you decide they're worth the trouble, you might look for them there. Oh, that's the direction of that settlement I was kind of looking at. The bigger one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call this one here. <laughs> uh, we'll get to the rest of this quest next time. But thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. Specifically to my sapling tier patron. Reese Galito, thank you so much for your support, and my tree tier patron, Christopher, who is the most awesome, the super bestest. Thank you so much for your support, truly. And once again, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.